Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, um, June 23rd or 24th. Anyway, good morning. Um, this is a video on how I'm doing my subway portals for my O scale modular layout to create a subway. All right. First off, since the modules are roughly or just under 24 inches wide, I'm using masonite to do the cross portals or the cross sections. All right. And they are cut a little bit narrow, so to speak, about 24 and three quarters, I mean, 23 and three quarters wide, okay? Um, then what I do is, you can see this one is marked up, okay, using a Sharpie, yep, a short tape measure, and carpenter square, or a tri-square, you know? Um, what I do is I set, let me start with a new one, okay? Start with a new piece because this one is done already. Okay. And I have this board here sitting here to help because the uh, square has an offset section here. Okay. What I do is I clamp it somewhere. I'm using the edge of the second module here to do this. Okay. And I set the square initially to three quarters. Okay. And what I do is take the cap off. I want a three quarter inch offset on this. And I just go down, running the square along the edge. Okay. Let me move my coffee here. And over here. I do the same thing. Boom. Done. Okay. So. And I do this side as well. Bingo. So now what I do is I take this cup here and I line it up with the marks I just made and create a corner arch. Okay. On each end. Okay. Now what I do is I have to find the center of this. This is 23 and 5 eighths of an inch wide. All these pieces are. So I need to find the center of that. So half a tw uh, 23, so half a, half a 20 is 10. Half a 3 is 1 and a half. And we got the 5 eighths. All right. So divide it all in half, it comes out to 1 16th. So it's 11 and just on the 16th mark past the 3 quarters. Okay. So, put them off there. Then we do is we take our square once again and we bring it to three inches. Why? Because we're only going to make a notch a quarter inch wide by three inches tall. And the corresponding, or the spine, the center spine is going to have a notch to match the same. Okay? This is our center, so to speak, for our cut. And it's going to be one inch wide total. Okay? And then we go back and take our square and set it for six inches. All right, and boom. There. So once again, we take our little tampani cup, plastic tampani cup, which is what this is. Well, it means, it means little drum in Italian. By the way, timpani. And we make our circular marks or half circle radius marks for the interior bracing because you don't want it square because that'll leave it prone to cracking and splitting. So they do this with the real thing too. So you want this on a curve. And I cut this on a bandsaw, okay, at TV Cog, the makerspace I belong to in Troy. All right, so now I take this off and you can see I have a portal section complete. All I have to do is cut it. Once I cut it, I set it in the, I make the center, I also make a quarter inch wide kerf right here to slide into the center spine. Okay, so this is number three done. So there you have it. Very simple method of creating the portals and the spines, the center spine is cut to length, the same length as the module. 
and it has these notches in it, okay, that you can see that when you notch out this, okay, when you notch out this, you slide them together, bingo, okay, when this is notched. So now you have an idea, or have a better idea anyway, of how this goes together. So, this is how I'm making my subway. Simple, inexpensive. Two by four of MDF quarter inch. Um, uh, four by eight of one eighth inch thick masonite. You're talking less than, about not even $30 for both, okay? And the topper is three sixteenths um, birch plywood, which is about $11, okay, $11, $12, all right? And you have the makings of a subway with street level above it, okay? And you can do whatever you want with that, all right? I'm hoping to put more of this elevated above it. Terry Gaskin three, uh, designed it and 3D printed it and released the files, so I'm gonna be adding to it myself only two tracks instead of three. So anyway, this is how I'm doing my subway. Um, I have some of my tracks. Most of you guys have probably seen that, how I do that already. Um, I made my own jig out of piece of pine with using ties and basswood that I cut the ties and the black marks are third rail ties so that's what goes there is third rail ties where the black marks are at so it's every fifth tie is a third rail tie just like the real thing so if any of you guys have questions critiques or comments or anything please feel free to message me or leave it in the comments below hope you enjoy the video have a good weekend bye bye